Okay, so here we're going to do a tutorial on how to use the eyelid effect and make it so that your the camera looks like it's looking through somebody's eyes and it's blinking. So here I have my footage and it, as you can see it's looking through somebody's eyes at a, another person laying down. Alright, and <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go over to this new item bit here. You want to click here and you want to click color map. So that's going to match the 1280p by 720 and 25 fps. That's going to match the settings that the video was shot in and what it's uploaded to Premiere Pro. Right, just click OK and make sure this is in black so that it looks more realistic. Now I'm just going to call this eyelid. Alright, just click OK and drag this up here just above the scene and as you can see it fully it just takes out the entire screen. So what you want to do is you want to go up here, click on effects over here and you want to search crop. You want to drag this and put it on your eyelid here, and then we just go here, and you can see that's going to change the bottom of it, right? Well, what you can do is you can click there, and you can click 50%, so it's at the exact middle. And just feather the edge a bit. If you just go here, you feather the edge a bit, so it looks more like a sort of eyelashes there, you know? All right. And so with the edge feathered and all, that's good. But now what you want to do? We go to here we click on 25% this will make this a bit easier and just click here we're going to make this larger than the actual thing just there all right just want to and that just means it'll move down smoother and there won't be too it won't be harder for there to be a mistake in it so you want to click option and drag this up to the one above now this will make two identical ones and we want to make a bottom eyelid as well so I'm going to make it the bottom one so that the bottom's the bottom eyelid and the top's the top eyelid. Here you just want to go up to the motion button, click down, you want to click on rotation and type in 180 degrees so that it flips it around 180. And as you can see there's this bit and for the star I'm just going to leave it ever so slightly closed, just like that. I'm going to do that to the top as well. Just ever so slightly, as you can see there, like that. And you just want to put in a keyframe there, so that's your first keyframe, and on here you want to also do that, so like that. And then you want to maybe do a couple of, do a slow one at the start, and just leave it like that for a bit. Let's check the back, okay. You just want to add in the keyframe there and just close it. I'm not going to close it fully on this one, I'm just going to... Do it enough that there's sort of, you know, um, that you can sort of just see as if he's a bit tired. The character, all right. And you want to do is just, and maybe I want to put some rapid blinking. So I'm just going to go just across. That's about one keyframe. Add in that keyframe there. Go up to the top and add in the keyframe there. Alright, we'll go back to those keyframes shortly. Alright, so go to our second keyframe here. Alright, and on this keyframe, as you've probably noticed, if I play it for you, it sort of looks quite mechanical, really. And so on the second keyframe, now, now there's a trick you can do here. Just zoom in for you. Alright, just right click on that, or if you're on a Mac like me, you can just use two fingers for the click. Click ease in. Alright. And what that's going to do is it's just going to ease it in. So, click play. See how it didn't sort of, didn't really, doesn't seem so mechanical really anymore. And now, just go across and do this keyframe. And we'll just um, make that 
how much is that one into? Right? Okay, and we'll just motion, lift it up a bit. This is going to be a bit of a very rapid blink, you know. And on the bottom one here, so there's our two keyframes. And we'll go on to the second one, and we're just going to click Temporal Interlation, and you want to click Easy in right there. Okay, now we'll watch it again. If you see that, so it didn't, it was quite a slow ease in, right? And don't check that worked, yep, okay. So here, it's gonna zoom in, go across. Right. Put another ease in on the bottom one. And just like that, as you can see, and just make it go to the bottom again here. Alright, and on the top, just zoom in a tad. We'll put an ease in on that too, just there, as you can see. Now that's going to do quite a rapid blink. And just add a keyframe in there. And now on, it's going to have, yeah, so. Right, on this last keyframe. Yep. Go. And we'll just make that come back in again. Right there. The top one. Come back in. There we go. Now it's sort of closed up. And if we watch the whole video, watch this. That was quite very rapid. Alright, that's good. And we'll just make the next item just a bit slow when it opens. So, keyframe. And we'll just add it open there. That'll be nice. Alright. Keyframe there. And just open it up like so. And now, if you just watch this, we'll have a. So, it goes, blinks, and then sort of focuses. And maybe we'll make the next bit sort of focusing in. Focusing out just very slowly, just like like very long focus points, alright? Just like that. Click zero on that. As you can see, it's sort of darkened at the edges from the bottom one. Add the keyframe there, just put zero enter. Excuse, sorry, it's an accident. Just watch this, let's go. So it goes open, blinks, sort of focuses it out. Let's make them put a keyframe there. And on this one. Alright. Just close that. Just like that, as you can see. Yeah. Alright, now let's watch it from the start again. As you had that blink, and then he's just going in, and there, 
I'm gonna bring it. Show just go. Yep, just there. I'm gonna shift five. I'm just go across five keyframes and just tell you how you do that. And I have told you it is you hold down shift and you click on either the left or right arrow buttons. If you click on the right, we'll go across to the five keyframes. If you go on the left one, it will go across. Um, you go backwards five keyframes. Just add that keyframe in there. We'll do that on the top one too. Yep, and just open it up. Just there. That's nice. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna zoom in again. There, add a keyframe in on top of it. Add the keyframe in, yeah, and just close it again. Another keyframe right there. Yeah, let's just see how this, and that's I think is enough to show you how to use this sort of technique when you're doing it. I'll show you how it works. Here we go. Closes, blinks a bit, focuses in, and blinks again. And now he's just sort of focusing on it. Right. I think that's good enough for today. Right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.